Good evening. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. We, um, it's the sun is still out, so I'm a little confused um, about it being evening or afternoon. My computer is, there we go. So we um, have a few things we want to celebrate with us here. Um, and I can hardly see this. So first, we want to congratulate, congratulate our IPA Science Olympiad team. Um, they, they won the state championship. And so I want to say the last time we were here, we just kind of talked about them even competing. But not only did they compete for the first time, but they won. Am I correct? Two, two events? Yes. Um, so this is exciting. So yes, we can give it up for our IPA Science Olympiads. This is something new that we have here in Unit 4, so I'm excited about that. Um, got it. Next thing, we want to congratulate um, Central High School's Future Business Leaders of America. Um, they achieved state level, um, sorry, they ex ex achieved state level achievements at their recent leadership conference. So congratulations to Eleanor Peak for winning the state parliamentarian position and Eleanor, Lord, I'm, I, I, can't, I can't read. Peak, yes, Peak. Um, and Kim for winning the state secretary position. And also to Avat Rajam is the outgoing state reporter. And in addition, 11 students qualified in competitions that allowed them to advance to compete at the national le level later this summer. So here's a picture of our, our students. And so congratulations to our central FBLA um, as they achieve state level recognition. Let's give it up for them. Also, we want to say um, job well done, phenomenal. Edison Middle School hosted Best Buddies. Um, and it was the Friendship Walk last week, and eight other local schools and their Best Buddies chapters participated. Um, so thanks to all who made this event such a great success for so many students. Um, they were really excited and proud. Look at those faces. Um, and so we just want to give it up for our Edison um, Best Buddies program. Also, Jefferson hosted their Night of Recognition, um, so we want to say congratulations to all the Jefferson students who received certificates during the school's Night of Recognition ceremony. Uh, love it when we celebrate our students because that is why we do what we do, and so when they, we can recognize our kiddos for doing great things, that's what it's all about. So congratulations to our Jefferson students and staff. Um, we had our Yes Career Fair last week. Um, Unifor's Yes, our Youth Employment Services Program, hosted its annual um, event where students participants, um, participates, participants met with local employer partners and they were able to inter be interviewed on the spot for summer work sites um, and the, the matches and were op opportunities were there and there were some matches that made right there on the spot. And so we also want to say thank you to Mindy Smith um, who helped lead this, this wonderful um, endeavor. So employers, if you're listening or see this posted anywhere, you're more than welcome. If you want to participate, um, you can contact Mindy Smith at smithmi at u4sd.org, and we will have this also posted on our website. So job well done. Our students, we're getting them ready for, for employment starting in the summer. This here is pretty cool. So we know we had an election that just transpired. well it was April 4th, April 4th election. And so if you, depend on where, which poll you went to or when you voted, you were able to um, receive that, the sticker here that says I voted with all the, you know, the power um, there. And so it was actually cool because the stick, the, did you know that the voting sticker was created by a central high school student? So that is pretty fascinating. Um, so some people um, received this sticker and they wore it. And so I just want to give a shout out to Robin Fitzgerald um, for, for creating this. And she entered the I Voted sticker contest host, hosted by the Champaign County clerk and won. So great things are still happening in Unit 4. Congratulations to Robin. Um, going back, we got Maroon's track and field, um, they set new school records. So it was an amazing weekend. Look at the excitement on those, those students' faces. It's this kind of thing that makes, 
this work worth it. So we want to thank News Gazette for doing a story about the Central um, Girls track and field teammates. Um, and so these Maroons um, broke a 42-year school record for the 400-meter relay, 49.4 seconds, and established a new record in the 800-meter re relay, one minute and 44 seconds. So well, well done, Maroons. Um, also, whoops, yes, we have uh, Maroons again, new school record. Um, so we say congratulations to Nick Bond, who set a new school record in the 3,200 meter race, nine minutes, 33.7 33 seconds. So way to go to Nick. And I just cannot even imagine doing that in a day. So, I mean, that's awesome. So congratulations to Nick. <laughs> Job well done. One of my favorite events um, is the CU Schools Foundation Distinguished Alumni um, event. And it was, um, I think, last a couple Fridays ago, I think. Yeah, um, it was fantastic. So we want to say congratulations to our CU Schools Foundation Distinguished Alumni recipients. Big shout out to Unit 4 alum Nicole, Anna, and Azit Avra. Um, and they... Um, all was it was wonderful and they deserve it. they deserve the recognition um, and the central high school jazz band also filled the room with amazing music so unit four was in the room and so yeah anna and avra are um, twins and they said some of the same things in their interview and they weren't even interviewed at the same time so it's pretty cool um, and then meeting um, nicole we sat next to each other and we talked a little bit and so I'm really interested and intrigued on volleyball, seated volleyball. And I was like, you, I can't play standing up. So I can't imagine what, how much fun it would be to do it while seated. So um, congratulations to, to all of them. Um, also, is everything, it's everything, Champagne Unit 4 in your pocket. We're finally getting caught up with the rest of the world. And, and we have our own district mobile app. Um, it's ready for you to download. Um, the app is interactive. It's help you stay connected um, to your child's school. You can choose which schools you want to add um, in your app. You can view live news feed, add school calendars directly to your personal calendar. You can log in to home access to check your child's grades and so much more. It's awesome. So we finally have an app because I don't know about you all. If you looked at the app or the website on your phone before, it was not very user friendly. So now we actually have a, a mobile app that we're ready. So way to go to our um, communications department and our IT department for a job well done. This is really exciting. Also, we have our new uh, family communication system is coming soon, Swift K-12. We're pleased to begin the implementation of, of the Swift K-12 messaging platform for our families and our staff members. Um, there's been a few um, communication trials and test runs that went out. As a matter of fact, I want to say last week, I think both my both my phones went off for a text message. Um, they they my phones rang and then I also got emails. So some one way or another, we're gonna get the message. We're gonna be we're gonna be you know know what's happening. So we're excited um, that we we're able to test out our new system. Um, a test email, text, and phone call was sent to all Guardian One and Guardian Two um, on April 14th. So that's the piece that was really exciting. Both Guardians One and Two was able to. So hopefully you all, if you have students in our in our system, you have it. You got it. Great. Another great job to our IT and our communications department. Um, also, we are just reminding everyone that the returning student registration is now open. This is a reminder to our families for re returning students for 2023-2024. Please get your students registered. Um, guardians were sent a snap code to register um, returning the student for returning students. If you did not, for some reason, get that. Please contact your child's school. Um, dental exam deadline is coming up. So for all kindergarten, second, sixth, and ninth grade students, due May 15th. So I'm giving a, a reminder. Our nurses um, are wanting to make sure this is taken care of. So kindergarten, second, sixth, and ninth graders, May 15th, dental exams. 
Summer programs. Um, last board meeting, Peter Furch did an amazing job talking about our all of our summer programming happening. We have over 21 programs offered over the summer um, utilizing the Unit 4 schools. So we're excited about it. So if you want more information, you can go to the website um, and look at we have everything from enrichment. Um, um, we, we, we just have all kinds of things, intensive, catch-up, um, makeup, things of that nature, as well as enrichment. So Really excited about it, so there's something for our students to do over the summer. Um, summer, food, f summer food sites, this is a reminder. The locations will be Dr. Howard, Booker T. Washington, Stratton, IPA, Bottenfield, Franklin Steam Academy, and Central High School. Some of our normal locations are not being offered this, uh, this summer because of summer work that needs to happen on our buildings. So these are the announcements. I mean, these are the locations, and so we want to make sure everyone understands and knows um, where the summer feeding sites will be, um, and the dates and times will be announced um, a little later. But I'm just going to keep reminding everyone of that. So this next piece I just need to spend a couple more minutes on, and that's the Care Solace. It's available for Unifor students, staff, and their families, and our, and our students' families. There's so much going on. Um, trauma is real. It does not have a zip code. So we understand there's some things happen, um, and our families and our staff and kids need extra support um, for mental health, um, and it's okay to say I need help. Um, and so we have Care Solace, um, and we, it's a 24-7, 365 multilingual support. Um, it's, it, it will take care, regardless of your insurance, um, easy access to care. Um, so if you want to get connected, there's a phone number there, 888-515-0595, where you can um, go to caresolace.com. Um, and U, 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 USD, US, U4SD, um, and you can do a warm handoff if we need to. You can do it anonymous if we need to. But this is, a, I just needed to really hit this because I'm witnessing and seeing some things um, in our community and across our country where it says we cannot take mental support, mental health um, lightly. It's very important, and we need to make sure that everyone knows that this is available and it's at no cost, so to speak. Um, if you have insurance or not, we can take care of that. So I just want to put that out there one more time. Um, it's a confidential connection. You do not have to broadcast it to anyone. Um, and then I just want to remind everyone that school success starts with attendance. So the most powerful predictor of academic success is we, we need every Unit 4 student in school every day for the entire day. It's vital for, to prepare our students for a college and or career for a lifetime. So thank you.